Um, first, I'd just like to say what enormous privilege it is for the Lincoln Trio to be part of the Sadie family. It's just a, a wonderful thing. The first piece we're going to play is a piece by Lehrer Auerbach. And this is the first piece on our CD, uh, Notable Women. Lehrer Auerbach is a, an American Russian composer who um, defected when she was about 18 years old. This particular piece that she wrote it was when she was about she wrote it when she was about 16 years old. So it's a it's a very early work by her, and we're just going to play the first movement. And it's kind of a little bit strange. It's got a lot of very strange effects in it. We had to play very close to the bridge, so it, um, it's called Sol Ponticello, which kind of creates this very icy sound. And then towards the end, I do some effects which are supposed to sound like angry seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey Garrett here? No. Um, Stacey uh, wrote this piece for us um, called Silver Dagger last year. And it's the first piece on the CD of uh, a CD of her, of her works. And it's um, called In Eleanor's Words. And this is basically um, based on an Appalachian folk tune.
next piece we're going to perform is by uh, composer Jennifer Higdon, and it's also a, a piece on the CD with <coughs> notable women. And uh, Jennifer is a wonderful composer um, and is head of composition at the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia. And it's probably best if I just read out quickly what she says about this piece. Can music reflect colours, and can colours be reflected in music? I've always been fascinated with the connection between painting and music. In my composing, I often picture colours as if I were spreading them <coughs> on a canvas, except I do so with melodies, harmonies, and through the instruments themselves. The colours that I have chosen in both of the, of the movement titles and in the music itself reflect very different moods and energy levels, which I find fascinating as it begs the question, can colours actually convey a mood? Now, there are two actual movements to this piece. The first is called Pale Yellow, and we're going to play for you um, Fiery Red, and it's very obvious that it's fiery. <laughs> <laughs>
rise. <laughs> it is my great honor to share with the Lincoln Trio the premier performance of the final movement of a five-song cycle by Laurie Altman. He, Lawrence Altman, is a Princeton native who now lives in Switzerland, and he does something that is just amazing to me. He does a reimagining of standard songs. Tin Pan Alley tunes, jazz favorites. So this song cycle is called Gig Songs. And this particular one, the last one, is called Come Rain or Come Shine. It features really challenging rhythms. That is a hallmark of contemporary classical music, as you've just heard. Sophisticated jazz harmonies in this case, and an architectural structure that skillfully focuses both into something I like to call jazzical music. <laughs> Oh! 